Hey guys, um, so I made this video just to quickly go over what King of the Hill is and AVA in general just because um, I know there's still a little bit of confusion regarding it. So um, I try to explain it as best as I can in this video, but if you're still a little bit confused or if you want more information, I really recommend that you check out the guide written by um, our very own Captain Toyshiro. Oh, look, there he is. Okay. Um, and you can find that on um, Aeon members, you can find that on our Alliance website also made by Captain and Mycon from Diamonds. And if I pronounce your names wrong, I'm really sorry. But you guys know who I'm talking about anyway. So anyway, let's get this started. So the first thing I want to go over is the different stages of Alliance Prism. So if you open up your map, you can see all the Alliance Prisms that's been placed. And now if an Alliance Prism is blue, that means it's a normal prism, that it hasn't been attacked. And the Alliance that placed it there controls that area and gets a 25% bonus. Now there's also weakened prisms, which are orange. And this means that the prism um, was attacked and we were not able to defend it. And the thing with weakened prism is that if you hover over it, you'll see when they become vulnerable or turn red. And it's important to pay attention to this time because that's when King of the Hill starts. One more thing, if you want to check when your own prisms go vulnerable, you can go into the Alliance tab and look under Conquest. And here you see all your prisms and you can filter them by status. Now when you filter them, you'll see the weakened ones. And if you hover over the weakened ones, it'll give you a countdown to when they become vulnerable. So it's a little bit easier than checking the map. Okay, so let's look at an area that's actually having a King of the Hill. And you can see the prism's red, it's vulnerable. And when you're in that area, you can see that you get a little status bar on the top of your screen. And you can pull that down and it reveals even more information like what alliances are there, how many people they have there, what their score is, and how long they've had numerical superiority. Now, numerical superiority is what determines if an alliance wins the area, and that's based on the score the alliance has. And the score is basically um, all the levels of all the players from the alliance in that area added together. And whichever alliance manages to maintain numerical superiority for 30 minutes wins the area. And those 30 minutes don't have to be consecutive. Also remember that players that are in fights, specting fights, or on maps where aggression is not possible do not count towards their alliance's score. For this next part, you'll have to bear with me and this image because if I record myself during a King of the Hill, my computer will probably crash. But um, so let's talk about some of the symbols found in the King of the Hill. And we'll start with the green star. And um, it just basically means that you count for your alliance's score. And if you see other people with that green star, it means they're part of your alliance. So moving on, the next is stopwatch. And um, you get a little stopwatch over your head. It confuses some people, but it just means you don't count yet, but you will soon. And this happens when you enter the area or when you get out of the fight. Next to a pretty easy um, blue shield is for the defenders. And uh, for the red sword, it means it's the enemy or it's the attackers. It's pretty easy. And um, the last one is this little white flag that comes over your head. That means you died and somebody freed your soul, either an enemy undertaker or yourself. But you've come back to the area, but you no longer count towards your alliance's score. The last thing that I want to talk about are the three ABA roles that you can get from the Alliance Temple. And you can go to the Alliance Temple from Sophokia. And here it is on the map, just over to the right and straight down from the Zap. And you click the little boat and it will take you to the Alliance Temple. I'm just going to speed through this part real quick because it's just me walking over maps. I'm pretty boring. Anyway, here we are. This is the NPC that you talk to to pick the role that you want. He'll give you three options. You can become an Undertaker, a Sentinel, or a Healer. And I'm going to explain these very briefly. So let's start with Healer because that's what I am. So a Healer can resurrect fallen allies that have turned into tombstones. And when a Healer resurrects a person, they go back to counting towards their alliance's score. An Undertaker is kind of the opposite in that Undertakers free enemy souls so they can no longer count towards their alliance's score. And the last role is uh, that of a sentinel. And what sentinels do is that they automatically aggress players within their range. Now, all of the orders require potions to be able to work. And you can get them by exchanging old order ability items with this NPC or buying those potions from the alchemist market. As you can see, these potions are targetable, but they only work inside AVA zones. And now that you know what the roles are, go get your roles. And don't forget to stock up on those potions. Alright folks, that's the best I can explain King of the Hill in under 5 minutes, so go into your Alliance tab and make sure your AVA is turned on by clicking the box in the bottom, and get out there and conquer some territories, and I hope this helped.